So this is weird. I've never tried doing a video diary thing before, but um, let's see how this goes. So um, yeah, hi. Uh, this is me. It's currently the fourteenth uh, of November, twenty twenty-three. I'm sat here with Amy. Hi, Amy. Amy, she's being very affronted that I'm pointing the camera at him. Um, and I thought I'd try doing a video diary just to. Um, keep on top of my feelings and memories and stuff. Um, I've recently realised I have ADHD um, and I'm probably autistic. Um, I've not had a formal diagnosis yet but my GP and my counsellor, that's another new thing, um, seem to think that both of those um, diagnoses are coming. Is it diagnoses? Diagnoses? Um, the ADHD thing has really hit me quite hard, I think. Um, yeah, I've always known that I'm not great at uh, organising and um, I'm not very detail-oriented and I find it difficult to focus on things that I'm not really interested in. Um, but the fact that all those things are sort of part of ADHD has really uh, hit me quite hard. I think I've always assumed that the reason I jump jobs quite quickly and never really find something to stick at is just because I've not found the right job and I've not found anything that really interests me. Um, but that ADHD thing has made me realise that maybe actually it's just it's just who I am and um, I'm never going to find a job that keeps me interested long term which is a bit upsetting to be honest. At the moment I'm feeling like a bit of a loose wheel at work. Spur wheel? Loose wheel? Spur wheel. Um, I need to be more proactive and self-directed but I just can't. I've sort of lost interest in what I'm doing. Um, and I just I find it really difficult to engage. It doesn't help I don't think that I work at home and all my team are in London. Um, I'm in near Manchester, I'm in Wigan, as you might tell from the accent. Um, so yeah, I, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I think I kind of, I'm upset because I really want to like this job. Um, it's for an organisation that I love. Um, I love most of the people I work with. It's just the role itself, I just can't feel engaged with it at all. Um, and I think it's the ADHD that's making me feel like that. Uh, it's something I talked to my counsellor about. Um, yeah, I just have this ball of, I don't want to say grief because that's a bit um, dramatic. I think just this ball of overwhelmingness when I think about work that I'm struggling to get past. I, get, I think part of the problem is that maybe it's part of my autism that I struggle to identify my emotions. So I have this ball of like anxiety I guess in my stomach even just thinking about work but I find it really difficult to identify what it actually is. What do you think Hamish? Maybe she doesn't care. Yeah, I mean, she's a cat. Um, so yeah, maybe maybe talking about it like this, even just to a phone that's displaying a picture of my face, um, maybe that's a good way to tackle it and just get it all out there. I mean, I'm going to counselling and this is the kind of thing I talk about with a counsellor. But I think... Um, Doing this sort of thing to camera and being able to play it back might help me in future. I have issues with memory, so I have a thing called um, severely deficient autobiographical memory (SDAM), which means that I have no like personal memories. Um, so I remember facts about things. I can remember that I did certain things, but I have no way of like reliving that memory or. 
recalling it. So even even if I watch this video back in about five minutes, it'll be like watching a stranger doing it. Which I've always just thought was completely normal and how people live their life. But apparently it's not normal, um, like so many things about me. Um, so yeah, I've got the memory thing, I have aphantasia, so I, I have no mind's eye, I can't um, conjure up mental images, which is another thing that I always thought was just completely normal, but apparently is not. Um, I have no internal monologue, that's another weird mental quirk. Um, I have the ADHD, I have the autism, I'm just completely broken in a huge number of different ways. Um, and I'm struggling to get on top of all those. I think I'm I'm fairly, despite all that, I'm quite high functioning, I think. I seem to have fallen upwards in my career into um, a reasonably high position. Um, like I, I'm a software architect and I'm a lead architect. So I should be really proactive about finding problems and fixing those problems. And I think when I first um, started this job two years ago, I was really interested in the job and it was quite easy to do that and go out there and find problems and fix those problems and I had a clear idea of what I was supposed to be doing. And now I just feel directionless and completely lost and I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, so like... Um, due to start work round about now and I'm probably going to spend I think I've got some meetings today so that'll kill some time and the rest of the time I'm just going to I don't even know spend trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing Um. so yeah that's my life at the moment I sit down every morning I spend the day trying to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to be doing um, and then, yeah, I finish work, I spend time with my kids that I don't remember, well, I remember my kids, obviously, but I spend time with my kids and then don't remember that time that I've spent with them. Um, I probably feel happy, but I don't, A, I either don't recognise that emotion or B, I don't remember it as soon as it's gone. Um, and then I go to bed. And then I wake up the next day and I do the same thing again. And that's, that's my life. Pretty much. Um, so I'm obviously, as you might have guessed, I'm slightly depressed. Um, I'm on antidepressants, which seem to be helping with that. Um, but I just, I don't know, I don't see the, the point in life, I don't remember anything I've done, like I've no, like does anything matter if you can't remember it? Um, maybe these video diaries will help me remember things, so this morning, um, <laughs> I took the kids to school, um, the kids had discovered video calling on the tablets, so they were messing about doing that quite a bit, which gets a bit annoying after a while. Um, Aubrey, my youngest daughter, was playing with the cats for a while. She was astounded at how high Hazel the kitten can jump. Um, Eden was playing games on her tablet, which she does quite a lot. Um, yeah, and then we watch school, which we do every morning. Um, what did we talk about? Oops, it's gone. I can't remember. Um, yeah. And that was my morning. And now I've got a whole day of... kind of pretending to be doing a job and... not really know what I'm supposed to be doing. And just feeling like a complete failure. Yeah, I guess that's part of the problem. I'm just feeling lost. Anyway, hope your morning's going well. Have a great day.